My Facebook and Twitter pages have been buzzing with a surprising headline lately, so I thought I should share it with you. High levels of vitamin C may decrease ischemic heart disease and mortality risks. That's right, good old vitamin C. The very same inexpensive vitamin your doctor will tell you just turns your urine bright yellow and then gets flushed down the drain. But this study showed that people who ate the most fruits and vegetables had the highest blood levels of vitamin C. They also had a 13% lower risk of heart disease and a 20% lower risk of all-cause mortality compared with people who rarely ate those foods. These findings may not be a surprise to you and me, but have you ever known a cardiologist to suggest you eat a diet rich in vitamin C? Most cardiologists I know are still caught up in the old school dogma of lowering your cholesterol. And the only dietary they, advice they give is to stop eating eggs and cut down on fat. But they'll still hand you a prescription for a statin too, just for good measure. And when that doesn't work, they'll be ready with a scalpel and some so sort of life-saving heart intervention. Which would you rather choose? A tried and true vitamin that costs pennies a day, or side effect riddled drugs and surgery that costs thousands? Red and green peppers, kale, strawberries, tomatoes, broccoli, and cantaloupe are all good sources of this essential nutrient. But since humans can't make their own internally like most mammals, chances are you may also need to take a vitamin C supplement. I recommend three grams of vitamin C per day. Until next time, I'm Dr. Fred.